defense is at it again. The 23-year-old's attorneys are trying to get charges dismissed. Some of their arguments, unconstitutional, defective indictment, and double jeopardy. And they're going after the death penalty for the woman accused of killing her own daughter. Her lawyers say prosecutors presented no facts. West 2's Bob Keeling continues to break new developments in this case and has the details. In new court papers, Casey's defense argues the state's indictment against her is, quote, defective lacking facts and unconstitutionally vague. They're asking Judge Stan Strickland to throw it out. These constitutional concerns are particularly critical, they argue, given this is a capital case. While this strategy appears to be a long shot at best, the defense does raise critical questions. How can the state charge Casey with premeditated murder when they put forth no theory on how Kaylee Anthony was murdered and what made that murder premeditated? Jose Baez and the defense have a theory of their own. Prosecutors and state attorney Lawson Lamar are seeking the death penalty in, quote, bad faith to gain a tactical advantage and pressure Casey into a plea deal. They cite a U.S. Supreme Court opinion that states such a strategy is unconstitutional. Based on that argument, they're asking Judge Strickland to ban the state from seeking the ultimate punishment. And remember that video of Casey allegedly on a spending spree writing checks with her friend's money? Well, today her defense says nine of the 13 check fraud counts against her are redundant, amount to double jeopardy, and should also be tossed. Bob Kelly joining us live from the newsroom right now. And Bob, any word if Judge Stan Strickland will give Casey's team a chance to argue this defective indictment? Not yet, Martha, but even if he refuses, numerous attorneys we've spoken with say, say that the prosecution's toughest job at trial will be presenting enough facts to convince a jury that Kaylee was indeed the victim of premeditated murder. Martha. Bob Keeling reporting live in the Western Newsroom. Thank you. George and Cindy Anthony have gotten some unexpected ink, and we're not talking about the newspaper. Yeah, supermarket tabloid The Globe says it obtained a photograph of the Anthonys on their recent cruise sporting tattoos, although the picture does not show them clearly. The body art is reportedly in memory of Kaylee. George is sporting what appears to be a diamond stud earring. Their attorney tells West who he does not plan to comment today. You can see more of this video and read more of the new motions in the case against Casey at West.com.